Hey everybody, Basil and Will with Grayson Hobby, and today we have an exciting new video. We're going to show you how to use your RadioMaster ELRS system via Bluetooth on a PC simulator. Yes, so um, as everyone keeps pushing, if you look online, you're looking at information and getting into flying, everybody's going to say get a simulator, practice on a simulator, practice on a simulator, practice on a simulator uh, before you jump into super high performance drones because it's a lot cheaper to crash those and uh, it's easier to get them out of the tree, I guess, because it's a digital tree. I'm a thumber. That's probably why I'm so terrible. But you actually crash less in the simulator, it's crazy. <laughs> but uh, basically, we're gonna show you a quick little video on the ELRS Zorro on how to connect to your computer through Bluetooth in order to use the simulator wirelessly without the cord. So we're cutting the cord. All right, what do you need? You're gonna need an ELRS system. We're gonna use the RadioMaster ELRS radio. Running version 2.0 or newer. You're gonna need a PC running uh, with Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth cable computer. And then you need a simulator. There's a million simulators out there. Some are free, most are free. Some are like five, 10 bucks. I think the yep. one I have is like $10. I think most of the one I know is like 20 bucks. Yeah, so. so that's it. All right guys, if you find value in this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and Subscribe to our channel. If you need anything Radio Master, we have all the parts, the radios, everything in stock, sh all shipped from right here in Loganville, Georgia, which is right outside of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Come on in any Saturday, see this pretty face. Eh. Made it awkward, Basil. Made it awkward. <laughs> Where do I get it? All right, guys, so as I said in the previous video when we reviewed the Zorro, uh, I am learning ELRS as well, so this is something I came across that I was really excited for. Um, I, it's just a really cool little feature. Um, to be able to use with the ELRS model, um, and this is not specifically the Zorro, but I'm using the Zorro in this video because that's what I have, it's ELRS. All right, we're gonna follow Will to his... All right, so I wasn't really prepared for this, but this is a little kind of a mess, I got some projects going on, which you might see at a later time. Um, but let's show you guys here. So the first things first, we're gonna turn on the Zorro, or your ELRS equipped Welcome to system. I'm gonna push the system button one time, and I'm gonna scroll down to Express LRS, which is the second option on this one. And then I'm gonna to go to BLE joystick. And then I'm gonna hit start. So I'm gonna hit enter and start, so it's running. Now, on my computer here, I'm going to go to my Bluetooth. Now, if you don't have a Bluetooth uh, dongle on your computer or you don't have integrated Bluetooth, you will need an external one, you can do it, um, but if your computer is old enough and doesn't have Bluetooth, you may want to think about a different computer. So we're going to go to Add Bluetooth Device, and then click Add Bluetooth, the mice keyboard, keyboard, etc. Click that, and then Express. Wow, LRS look at that, it picks it straight up. up. That is pretty and wild. Click that, I'm going to connect. The technologies. Ready to go. So now I'm going to hit Done. It's already set up. This is a kind of a quick computer, so. Um, <laughs> he he built this, so he had to get, he had to get <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, this is not an Xbox. This he, is my computer. He had to get that in there. So. All right, yeah. Um, so that's the settings there. Mm -hmm. And let's see. I want to say there's a way to check it. Yeah, so if you search controller, set up USB game controllers um, right here. This tells us it's an 8-axis, 0-button gamepad. Uh, let's go to properties and just to see that this is working you can see it right oh there. Oh my god magic um, Get some let's see we got the sliders working. No, no sliders on this one magic. I do bro. have switches. Oh, yeah, okay, so we got um, F C B and E are working So I don't have actual sliders. It looks like I just have momentary switches So I have four active switches plus the gimbals so on this particular one. Do that again so I can see your, your hands okay. in the thing moving. So flipping no, these just, switches. Just the, just the uh, gimbal. Oh. Yeah, so you can yeah. see that there. All right. <coughs> now that being said, there's one more step. One more step. You'll need a simulator. Oh. Um, on this computer, I downloaded it after I found this out. Um, I downloaded Liftoff and I also downloaded Freerider. I have Freerider open at the moment. Uh, to show you guys, you'll do USB input controller and then you'll do calibrate controller and you'll center all the sticks. And this is a lot of the simulators will be pretty similar to this too. Uh, you know, move your hand one way, select, move it the other way, select, and just, you'll see that it's picking up the channels here. And then, and that's done. And then this is scaling. Um, if you wanna move, I'm not gonna do this yet, but if you wanted to 
adjusted and all that. That's just so you don't have outside the limits. So your center is a true center. Like this one's not trimmed, so we're gonna trim it there. And once you get it all set up, hit okay, and then do a quick demo. Fly this thing. Yeah. Like Freerider, if you have an older computer though, um, it's not as um, intensive. So if you have a crappy graphics, uh, just a basic computer, it'll work on a lot of the older computers too. Um, of course, you'll have to turn down settings, but and I don't have sound on, but no, whatever. But as far as you get the idea, as far as what you can do with this thing, and we are ooh wireless. I didn't do that. I wasn't paying attention. So yeah. So you saved yourself a thousand bucks right there in that crash. Oh yeah. So it gives you a little bit of confidence to do stuff. All, All right. right. So let's see if Basil can Whoa. do this. Hey. Oh look at that! Look at that! Wait a minute, better. So another option we have here, guys. This is another simulator offered on Steam. Um, this is called Liftoff, and it's Rotorite basically. Um, but this is a really good little simulator, but you do need a graphics card typically of some sort on your computer to be able to use this. Um, but this is gonna be a better simulator because it has artificial like video noise, etc. You can turn off a bunch of settings and all that, and you can customize the, the maps are different, the drones are different, you can do a lot more customization with it, but it is a little more involved. There's also Velocidrone Drone and a couple of other simulators out there as well that you can download for, it, most of them are $10 or less at this point. It's so this is crazy. still basil behind the sticks here. Yeah, look at that, look at that. So when you're done running the simulator, literally you just push exit to enter, to exit it, and then you can back out. Um, and then it's disconnected here. Yep, it says right there, just. Yeah, unknown disconnected. disconnected. So now, if you have the four in one version or you don't have ELRS, this is a, this wireless feature is specific to the ELRS version of the Zorro. So if we're regarding the Zorro itself, um, if you have the four in one version, you'll have to connect to USB-C, which again is the cord here. But I do like the ability of having a little bit of freedom. Now the Bluetooth is limited to, I guess the capabilities of your computer as well, or your, con your Bluetooth connection, um, whether it's a laptop, desktop, but uh, expect four or five feet of good connection. After that, it probably gets a little hazy um, for a lot of the computers out there. But that's still longer than this uh, two foot cord, so. Yes, definitely. All right, so four in one, use the Bluetooth cord. Or no, USB. USB cords, <laughs> yeah. right, right. ELRS, use the Bluetooth. Yeah, so that's just something really cool there. Um, that was really nice because on a crappy day, we've had some crap weather in the last week or so, so I was able to actually get some stick time on the Zorro without having to go outside and fly in the rain. All right, that's how you hook up your Radio Master ELRS to a PC and use a simulator. Yep, hopefully that was a quick enough video to get you guys interested in trying the ELRS Bluetooth uh, function on simulators at home so you can get some flying time in when it's crap weather.